Hey, we are Story Fandom, and uh, well, I guess we're only four fifths with Max's butt back there. Yep. Um, Clara took one, le- one look at the monster this week uh, because it popped up and she noped out of this one. Um, I have this habit of kind of looking at stuff, looking up spoilers sometimes just to make sure that she can watch something. Like, I saw an article that was like, this is what you should know before you take your child to see Frozen 2. And I read it, and it basically spelled out everything. And, uh, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I'm saying, like, I knew. Bring tissues. Be prepared. Star Wars read the spoiler on that one, too. I was ready. I had the tissues. So, like, I, uh, as soon as I saw that monster, I was like, mmm, she ain't gonna watch this. So we showed it to her, and she was like, nope. So, so uh, she... So she bed. went to bed. Yes. So we are here. So we may not be, may not be quite as uh, animated as usual. Or loud, obviously. Well, that's what I meant by animated. Oh. You can be animated without being loud. I talk with my hands. When you say anime, it's like... It, Your anime, actions, like... it's not necessarily... Mm-hmm. Animation is actions, not words. Or volume. Yeah. They know what I was trying to it's say. Not volume. Anyway, so we're here to watch the third episode of Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. So, you guys excited? Jeez. Mm-hmm. Well, is- not really. I'm sorry. I read people's reactions to this episode, and I gotta tell you, if their reactions aren't all right, mm, I'm gonna be bored. Which means it'll probably be weird. It'll be hilarious for you guys. Oh, you'll probably dislike it. Hmm? We'll probably get thumbs down for that. Yeah. Are you guys it's ready? alright. You give thumbs down every time you swear when our daughter's on camera, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've controlled my swearing lately. Which is a miracle, in my opinion. <laughs> Let's be honest. Started. Between the two of us, who swears more? Mm. <laughs> uh-huh. We know it. Like every other word. <laughs> you would think you would have put on the caption before you paused it. <laughs> right? Oh, uh, so sorry if it's a little soft this time. Obviously, we're trying not to be too loud. So trying not the to wake the child. Yes. <laughs> no, nobody wants you to touch those fetus. Thank God. Oh. Uh, God, you're, you're so you're so old, Grant. You're so old. <laughs> Way to be a fucking oh cockblock. Dude. Jesus Christ. Wow. You need to know. <sighs> yeah, as we judge you so hard. I mean, she couldn't have known. Nah, <laughs> but we you don't walk so up on an old couple just for no reason. Mm. Wow. She could have gone anywhere else on that, like, by that pool. Ew. Totalization tats is not real bats. Mm. Go yeah, away. Yeah, you need to go away. Yes. Go away. Please. Oh, yeah, you're real sorry. If you so you leave. Just like popped him over there. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna go look. <laughs> she, she just rolled her eyes at you, man. Get it, Bella? What? Mm. Don't that is the worst. I guess the hallucinations are gone. Or she's a hallucination. (laughs) 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 Yeah, challenges. That looks very challenging. Oh, I thought that dude like had something yeah. weird in him. I, I don't know too. too. 
Doc, I get you don't like guns, but uh, he's fucked. If you can hear this message, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't recognize the doctor's voice to say to that kid, no, it's probably not a drill, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was twisting my arm funny. Sorry. You like grabbed me like this. <laughs> so I had to be like, <laughs> no. So, I'm yanking it off. I don't hate the episode so far. It's a little. Well, at the end of it, I can tell you what people said. Okay. I mean, it's a little porch woody in right now. Mm. They are introducing way too many people to care about. Yeah. yeah and I'm true. telling you, they look like the weevils from Torchwood. Mm. A little bit. And their whole twisted. take on, like, these alien people who are there. Mm, they don't really look alien. I'm sorry, you can't just slap green hair on people and call them an alien. That was my hair, like, what? Last. Last year, May, and that one girl looks like it's just, just like a bad cosplay po- costume. It really does. Yeah. But so in Doctor Who's like, defense, they have a history of some pretty terrible costume designs. But yeah, but you could kind of you were say, able to be you all could, like, hey, you that could that looks excuse like it away, alien. and then you could also excuse it away with the well, that was how many years ago? Yeah, with That's everything we got now. A lot You're of those really bad costumes. Slap on some most green of hair. them. My hair was green in May. I'm just saying. My hair was green. Yeah, his hair was green. I he remember. an alien? Well, mm. Mm, you questionable. That's a can of spam. (laughs) No. No, not him. He was just gonna propose. That dude just looks like a really bad, like, 70s rock fan. Come on. Really? I thought, like, really. Stereotypical tattoo artist in a bad outfit. Okay, well, either way, it doesn't look like no alien. Did someone find Benny. Yes. I know, right? No one's gonna give a shit about Benny? I know. Come on. Dude. I hate this woman. Like, mm-hmm. she really is gonna leave Benny out there. I know. Okay, good. <laughs> right. Mm. Money, hungry people, always. Yep. Right. Yep. Of course, she's human. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, but none of those aliens could pass as alien. I'm saying. I'm just saying. I could pass as alien. Hold on. There we go. I'm alien. <laughs> That's how an alien moves in my head. <laughs> now you gotta, you gotta do the Matt Smith. Then you're an alien. That's it. It's over. That is an unfortunate design for a truck. Mm-hmm. It was kind of like a caterpillar. I know. It's just weird. Looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> right? Yeah. Greedy bitch. Wow. <sighs> oh my god. Ooh. She makes me so mad. She seriously like, just took Like on a freaking like, like base level. <sighs> god, I hope she dies. He's forever trying to get some. He's yeah. trying to get Yaz to give him her sister's number. Now he's chatting up her. Jesus. Keep it in your pants, Ryan. <laughs> uh. 
<laughs> God, yes. She's just cock blocking everybody. She's all up in everybody's Well, business. she's only doing that to Ryan because she secretly, I think, is in love with him. I don't know, but still. Like, she's like the old man. Yeah. Poor guy was going to propose. Now he's going to die. I know. Like, what? You know, it's all her fault that they took him. It's her fault. They just look weird now. Yeah. <laughs> they were they were uh, more menacing when you couldn't see them. Just like um, signs. Yeah. Remember? that movie was so creepy, and then the alien at the end, and you're just like, <laughs> really. Yeah, he sucks at his job. You okay? No, that's not fair. Mm. Oh. That was that was just bad. I was like about to cry, and then that happened. <laughs> Why? You okay? No. Benny, because he's an old guy. <laughs> Once you reach a certain age, there's would be like a rule where like you can only die in your sleep. Like it's just not fair. Like you've lived through all of this. You've made it. And now we reward you with peace. Not this crap. Why do bad things have to happen to old people? Because there are people Take too. Cain! I know, right? They took the furry. Shit, take Nevi. He's a terrible dad. Just, just don't take Benny. Did you see Benny? Yeah. <gasps> what the hell? <gasps> what a bitch. Oh my god. Is she serious? God, I hate her so much. I hated her the moment she said she killed Benny. Everybody gets judgy right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. moments. Okay. Let's move silently with this robot woman speaking repeatedly about how mm -hmm. I'm going to die. <laughs> well, fortunately the doctor shouldn't be able to hold her breath longer than a normal human. She's going to die. What he wanted. I know, but still. I do not want to look like that. Me neither. <laughs> Kill me first. 
Well, there's the uh, good old-fashioned heavy-handed symbolism. Global warming causes. That was one of my big issues with last series. Wouldn't that just be a quarter? Oh, it does. <laughs> the letter P. <laughs> Oh, of course. How would she survive? <laughs> that was the worst. Yeah. You're in a TARDIS. Couldn't you go rescue them? <laughs> you didn't get used to this last series? I did, I mean I like it. <laughs> See David. <laughs> we drink out of cans of water. We're doing our part. Reusable straws. I don't know. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> or shows trick. <laughs> oh my god. So what have been planning about? Well, <laughs> the preachiness. Yes. The yeah. introducing these billion characters yep. just for all of these storylines to just be like so anticlimactic like most of them die but you still introduce them anyways and then the whole Nevi Silas crap didn't really play out like it should have and then um, the whole Kane and Bella like it just everything just seemed half finished so you and the way the dregs looked and everything you know, you uh, knew a lot of the episode, huh? I didn't really know that that terribly much, but I knew the complaints was having to do with the characters they introduced. It had to do with the way the um, aliens looked, which is why I looked up what they look like. And then I was like, mm, but I knew it would freak out Clara. And then the whole preachiness came back, and just it was just a mess, basically. See, all right. I Me basically per- agree with all of that. <laughs> me personally, yeah. here's what frustrates me. One, a lot more people from the initial appearance survived the initial drag attack than went on the transport. But they just, like, they were never there. Transports weren't working. There were other people besides them that had survived. At least it looked like that. Maybe they did. But, so they're all gone. So everyone goes in the stupid transport, which is stupid. You're going to go save the, uh, the, 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 the boyfriend. Why would you take the old lady along? Yeah. Why would you bring the kid and the mechanic? Yeah. And then, okay, Doctor Who's always worked on having, you know, Aesop's lessons, morals of the story. Mm-hmm. But it was never that preachy it's the way she made that a preachy huge under speech at the end and then the or dreg. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, that was stupid. That was was really stupid. Under the both previous showrunners of the new series, it was never like this. Now, mind you, I've seen some old classic Who. It used to get like this in classic Who. There was at one point where Sarah Jane Smith and the Third Doctor preached about uh, the women's rights movement to an alien queen who was being ruled like over yeah, but, but that's but that's that's different that that's back in the 70s when yeah. it's, we exactly. weren't i mean this is a different quality of a show these days mm. there's so much emphasis on plot writing and, and things it's yeah, just so it's just oh my god <sighs> they had me just... in my feels until like a lot of points like <sighs> they Drinks. had me and then they dropped me and yeah. i was like mm-hmm. i was like I think it's the ending that killed it. The last third of the episode destroyed it. The yeah. first the, the first third I yeah. thought was well done. I actually thought that maybe, maybe, 
It All would... of the critics on the internet were wrong. I thought maybe they were just they being, being really like over dramatic, like over, always. I thought they were being like yeah, trolls, it seemed like you it know, been because I was like, oh, I can get episode. into this. It was pretty good, and I was feeling it, and I cried for the old dude. I was sad for the old lady, but man, nah, I'm good. Mm-mm. And then the thumb sucking thing. Come on, oh, God. what was that? Uh, they first ask goodbye. First of all. First of all, I'm gonna do that from now. How <laughs> bad? At random how moments. How bad of a terrorist is this Bella chick? <laughs> if she, she get infected by her own Hopper virus, mm-hmm. so how bad is she at this? It's like, <laughs> like <laughs> when the terrorists out there have their weapon of mass destruction, like I don't know, anthrax, and they use it on themselves, they die. And who saved her? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Maybe she saved herself. She knew how to. Like, as soon as she realized she had it. <laughs> this is how we're going to do it. When I'm on my deathbed, okay? I'm going to be lying there. And it's going to be like our moment. I'm going to mm-hmm. be like... Except, except, sweetie. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be dying. So you won't be able to do that to yourself. So instead, it'll be more like... <laughs> it's just really bad. And yeah. Oh, it's God. It started out good, mostly. And you noticed? I did notice in the beginning of the episode. At first, I thought it was atmospheric, but towards the end, I realized it wasn't atmospheric. They had clearly problems with the aliens and putting him into all the scenes properly, which is why we saw so many scenes where they like dropped the bomb. Run away. Run away from the alien. We're not going to show the alien until there's no more people on screen. But run away from the aliens. At first, when they did that, the first time when the aliens were attacking, I thought, oh, this is atmosphere. They don't want to see the aliens. And then we saw the aliens. And then we saw a lot of the aliens. And then we saw more of the aliens than we wanted to see. Yeah. Mm. And they still did it. Which you kill think, me before that happens to me, though. Like, for real, though. Before you turn into one of those... A dreg. Because that was an unfortunate look. I don't even care if I kill people. It's the fact that I don't want to look like that. Mm. Mm-mm. That is just gross. That was super gross. Oh, I think we talk about this because... As, as a... I mean, some aliens are really bad. We've had the Krillitane, which is kind of gross. You had that love and monsters where she ended up basically a piece of cement. And that guy looked really... F- freaking freaky with the faces all coming out of him now there are some creepy gross aliens but that it was just it wasn't just ugliness it It was like from the waist down was just like not proportionate like that weird leg thing that's i don't know it was just it was mm. not only was it ugly and weird and gross looking but it was also just like horrible like yeah just i was not a fan it was the pating all over again. Goddamn Pating. I had some complaint that it would be plot related, and then I forgot it. <laughs> because it was just all around bad. It was all no, I was just about to say it, and then you were like, and the way they looked, and I completely lost track of my oh. thoughts. I was going to say it because it was all bad. It was so bad. I mean, the... we've dealt with some not great... Oh. I remember. Doctor Who episodes. Like, David Tennant did not always have the best episodes. Like, some of them were really bad. Some of his best episodes were Martha. Some of his worst were Rose, which is unfortunate in my opinion. But, say la vie. It is what it is. But, God. It wasn't this. My plot convenient, my, my plot problem is as a writer, one of the things I know we. Plot conveniences. I mean, things are going to be convenient a little bit because the plot has to happen. Mm-hmm. But really, the one dredge sh- she gets close to to fill up her meter happens to be the, the leader. The yeah. leader of all the dredges. Yeah, if they're attacking, why is he sleeping? <laughs> I want to know. Like, uh, like, they're massing for an attack. They know that the system is weakened. They're coming at them. And he's sleeping? <laughs> Aye. We're just going to buy that? Okay. And another thing is... Because I'm going to tell you, as a leader, if you're going after these people, I ain't sleeping. No. 
But another thing is, what the fuck do they do to Benny? I don't know. Do they merge with him? Were they just kidding around and he's like one arm? They made it sound like they had no choice yeah, but yeah, to kill him. Yeah, they never showed I mean, they never like... They didn't seem like the kind of creatures that just like took people for the fun of it because no, everybody really? else in the Tranquility Spa was just killed. So why'd they take Benny? Yeah, they were like... They were like... They... I'll tell you... You, you know did. What? You did. I've got it. You did. You did. I can tell Come you with why. Me, weak, feeble old man. <laughs> I can tell you why they took Benny. They needed a reason to get the doctor out there. Yeah. That's Basically. it. Basically. There's that no it. actual story reason. No. The writer needed him the out there. The writer needed the doctor out there. That is literally the only reason I can think of. He's and right. Like, because there really is no yeah. reason for them to take Benny. They could have taken anybody else, but they happened to take Benny. And why and, would they take anyone? They didn't yeah. take anyone else. They weren't playing with anyone else. They just killed people. And other thing is... It wasn't like they were like playing so, with their food. I, and then, like, okay, so another thing that bugs me is... Oh, my God, this is going to be, like, the longest video ever that we've made because this is so bad. Well, so, so I've done so a lot of... I do a lot things. of TV tropes and back reading and stuff into stuff. So I know about a lot of the stuff... That, They've established with the doctor physiology. And one of them is the doctor. Time Lords apparently don't have lungs like we do. They have like a network of like tubes yeah, to take up more of their chest. I know. So, they're re- so they can hold their breath for far longer yeah. than a human can. And they use less oxygen. So, so even the doctor would talk. <laughs> but even though the doctor would go off on her, you know, a, a gift of gob as the doctor always does, she would use less air to do so. And when she ran out of air, she could hold her breath longer. But. No. Nope. Passing out. I just, I don't... And why did none of the, the features have mute function? What do you mean? The giant speaker things on the stupid tanks. Mm. I'm saying, Critical air. why Crit- are you going to tell me that it goes from green to orange to red if it's just going to tell me the whole time? And mm-hmm. why are you going to tell me to walk silently when it's going to make that announcement every five seconds? It's more annoying I, than my British GPS. It is more annoying than that. And let's be honest, my British GPS, I really shouldn't have done that to myself. I'm you just love saying. that GPS. It's, it's, it's a little annoying. It's mm, Some of the way she says things bothers me. Anyway. And she's really loud. I'm just saying, that but thing despite, is like terrible. It was the fact of being so loud, did you notice? None of the freaking dredges noticed. I know. He didn't wake up from that. No. Uh, oh, so. It conveniently stopped when she walked up to him. <laughs> yeah, before it started refilling. I'm so done. I don't even know what to say. So hopefully this is not setting the tone again. It is. I bet it is. I oh my god, it is. We can hope for better because the next episode is the Tesla episode, but let's be honest, it's not happening. Well, I think what we noticed... What what are they going to preach about? Ooh, what can you preach about with Tesla? <laughs> Don't fall in love with a pigeon? It's got to have something to do with energy or something. Technology, probably. Yeah, technology. technology. But they did the technology thing in the last two episodes, which didn't seem as preachy, but now when you think about it, it kind of was a little bit. Like, remember, I took off my watch. I was like, mm. Mm. But you see, no, but that's a little bit different. It wasn't preachy. But there was no, yeah, there was a lesson, she but it wasn't She didn't make preachy. a speech she, at There was the no end. big speech. She, 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 speech. Okay, so this is what I think <laughs> we've seen from this series. Despite the crap he gets, Chibnall clearly knows how to write a Doctor Who episode. Because the first two episodes were really good. Can we they just get Neil moral. Gaiman back? <laughs> we can just get Neil Gaiman to be the showrunner. I don't think Neil Gaiman would want to be the showrunner. But, can we? Can we, please? Can I start a petition right now? Alright, whoever watches these videos, I don't know how to do it. Y'all know how to do it. I know how to start, like, um... Non-profits... But you all know how to get petitions going. Let's be honest. Game of Thrones thing. Let's be honest. We all saw that petition. I signed it. I don't know if anybody else signed it, but I signed it because it was terrible. That last season. Mm. So you all need to start a petition. Neil Gaiman. But the Game of Thrones petition did nothing. I know, but it still was out there. 
I mean, this be more. It like wasn't the, gonna do anything. This will be more like the Sonic Hedgehog but petition. But Neil Gaiman might look and be like, "Oh, they really love me. They love me, guys. They love me." Oh, uh, he's like one of the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. He's that's, one of. He's one of like no, the most beloved that, writers. That's now officially like the um, the the call sign for like I love you. When we're like I can't, in some I can't. Crowded, crowded places. Every I'm time do you do that, I think of Shakespeare. Remember Romeo and Juliet? I bite my thumb at thee. That's all I keep seeing. Anyway. So do we have any more complaints? Everything. Everything. Do we cover everything? I don't know. Can't think of anything else right now. I mean, the part with Benny being like, "I'm sorry, I have to ask these two questions at the same time." Yeah, that was kind of funny. But um, just because you give us one funny line from an old man, that does not mean we are going to forgive the rest of this episode. Because we will not. Plus, to be fair, I am deleting cry. this one off of our DVR because I ain't rewatching really watching my shit. It's fucking trash. You got anything to, to add, Julius? And I watch Grownish. I'm just saying. She does. If I can sit through that, and I couldn't sit through this, I'm just saying, man. It's taken a lot for us to keep going with the show. Julius, did you have anything else? Mm. Your mom just kind of chimed up there again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, and. Alright, wow. I mean, we watched that show, everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> that was super awkward. The sex part was even worse. Remember? Oh, God. I didn't that? watch that one. Oh, I'm man. glad. Anyway, with like our content. We saw, we saw a commercial today where it's like a preview and she's talking about looking at her butthole. And like the teenage mm-hmm. girls okay. were all looking at their buttholes. Really, our content. Like, one Please like, like, comment, and subscribe. I didn't know buttholes could be hairy. And, you know, go ahead and share the video. <laughs> and. That was better than this. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Where hopefully. It gets better. Hopefully. I am not hopeful. I don't think it's going My to. hopes have been dashed. They had me hopeful after the le- the first two episodes. I was like, yeah, yes. I, mean, I, I think I really was hopeful. Yes. I really thought they were going to do um, a lot better. But you should be careful, though, because I remember something. It was a bit of trivia really quick before we end. So, apparently the people who run the BBC, mm-hmm. um, they usually get knighted by the Queen. Mm-hmm. The Queen is also a huge Doctor Who fan. Yeah. Want to know one of the only BBC heads who didn't get knighted? Hmm. The guy who got Doctor Who cancelled in the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... If she oh my god, if speaking the, of people who have been knighted, did you see the thing with Sir Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart where they kissed? <laughs> oh, it was so doing? cute. I have to show you. I'm sorry. What are you what doing? What was that voice? <laughs> it was adorable. Oh my god. You have gone from ghetto to valley girl in one video. Did you hear about this, guys? Anyway. Oh, my God. All my point is, if the queen is really a Whovian, Shibnall should be careful. (laughs) I'm just saying, Mm. if she really is that big of a Whovian, I think she might be. (laughs) You know, I may have gone from, like, ghetto to, like... It's kind of... No. I may have gone from, like, ghetto to, like, valley girl, but it was still nowhere near as bad as that episode. We're just cutting right here.